Hello everyone and welcome to the Waffle Flower channel. It's Shannon here and today I'm going to be using these two Flora stamp sets. I'm using the Flora Cat Meow which is right there in my hands and then I'll be using the Flora Cat um, Play which is the one I showed you at the beginning. I'm going to be using these sets with a Jennifer McGuire technique. It's called heat embossing and color lifting. I'm going to start by laying down some color on a watercolor sheet. This is actually probably, I think, um, five, six by nine. It's a bigger than, I'm going to cut it down using the Lacy Layers 5x7 dies to a, a 5x7 panel. But first I'm going to just lay down some color on here. I'm just using my watercolors. This is an inexpensive watercolor set. Um, you can use whatever watercolors you have. I just want to get a lot of color down on my paper because with this technique we're going to be removing um, color and the only way to see the images is if they're very you've got a lot of color down there initially that's trapped beneath the um, clear heat embossing so I gotta build up some layers of paint here and I'm just gonna start with just my watercolors and then I'll move on to some distressed inks I've got a nice big brush um, this is great for when you're doing backgrounds so you can get um, a lot painted very quickly. And I'm not being very careful here, just getting, just trying to get that pigment down on my paper. And again, this is watercolor paper. It's Stratmore watercolor paper. Okay, so now I'm going to let that dry. And um, I'm now gonna do some distressed ink. So I've got that all dried. I'm taking um, some distressed ink here. The color I'm using is Salty Ocean and I'm smooshing it down onto a piece of acetate and then misting it with a little fine mist spray bottle and then smooshing it down onto my um, watercolor paper. And I'm just moving it around and doing, taking a little bit more of the drops that are on, still on the acetate and dispersing them kind of evenly throughout the paper. Now I'm using a, a second color. This one is Peacock Feathers. Smooshing it down onto the acetate. Then I'm just gonna mist it here so I see it beading and then smooshing it down onto my paper. This will just kind of break up that all that blue, give a little bit of a different color to the paper. And then once I'm done doing all that smooshing, getting some more of those drops off of the acetate onto the watercolor paper, I'm going to let this dry. And then I'm going to do a little bit more ink smooshing on top of it. If you allow your watercolor paper to dry in between your ink smushing layers you get more of this speckly dotted look and I really like that. So I'm again going with the salty, salty ocean and just smushing it onto my watercolor panel. So I got a soft variation of blues there but really pretty. Okay so now I've trimmed it down using Lacy Layers 5x7 die and it has a stitched border, which you can see there, around the watercolor paper. Really finishes it off. I really love doing that. And now I'm going to start stamping some of the kitties from the Flora Cat Play and the Flora Cat Meow stamp sets. Now this is going to be hard to see, so I apologize. I'm going to take some of these kitties from the sets. Basically, I'm kind of creating a little scene here. I put pulled the kitties that have that one. First kitty I pulled has a butterfly, and then the second kitty I'm is rolling around. I place the butterfly right above there. I'm kind of creating a little scene like of a friendship between the kitty and a butterfly. A little narrative here. And I'll end up moving that butterfly and stamping him several times just so he looks like he's always with the kitty. And so I've got three cats there. I'm picking them up and I'm going to ink them up with some embossing ink. First I'll do some anti-static powder just to make sure that my embossing powder sticks only where I want it to stick. Inking it up again with the um, embossing ink. I'm going to stamp it here and then I will pour on some clear embossing powder. We're going to use clear today because I want the clear to, the clear will trap the watercolor and ink that is on my watercolor paper. It will trap it underneath and you'll have like a blue, a varied blue look. So you can see I'm just pouring on the clear embossing powder and that's it. I will heat set this and then we'll stamp some more. So just heat that, set it real quick here. 
and then I'll stamp some more of the kitties. And so, yes, they're very much lost, if you can kind of see. They're very lost there. You can only see where you've stamped if you hold it up into the light. So that you're going to have to do that to help you position your other kitties. I'm creating a whole background with these kitties and the butterfly. So I'm stamping a few more. I'll pour in the clear embossing powder again and then heat set, it, heat set that as well. And I'm going to keep doing this till I get that whole background cover. I have a little corner here that I'm going to do. And then the clear embossing powder, which will trap that watercolor um, paint and that distressed ink, will trap it underneath. Heat set it and then this is where it gets fun, as soon as this is done. All right, so I got the whole background done. And you can see me hold it up to the light here and you can see how it's got all the heat embossing of all the kitties and the butterfly there. But they're basically, you can't see them at all, only when you hold them up to the light. So now I've got some clean, clear water and I've got that big brush I was using before and I'm just picking up the water out of my little cup and placing it down onto my watercolor panel and I'm reactivating that watercolor and that distressed ink and you can see it's I'm already starting to pick some of it up just with my brush but to pick it up even more I'm going to use a um, I'm using a towel but you can definitely use a paper towel and I'm going to continue to work my way around my panel picking up the ink and you can see it's like magic all of a sudden all these kitties and butterflies are becoming more visible or being revealed because they were where we trapped the paint in the distressed ink with the clear embossing. So I'm going to go around here and continue to pick up that blue ink and watercolor. And normally this technique is done with really um, solid stamps. But I really wanted to try it with these floor kitties. I just thought it was the perfect um, finish or the perfect look to go with these cats. And I'm really pleased with how this turned out. I think the key, if you're going to do really linear images like the kitties as opposed to something more solid, like solid leaves, um, you need to just make sure you really build up your color. So if you're going to do linear images, make sure you really build up your color and get lots of color down on your panel so you have more of a contrast between the background and your trapped um, embossed images. So keep working my way. And if I did actually, since I think at the, the beginning I took away some, um, a little too much, I felt like right there. So I, I just put a little bit more of my um, watered down paint right there at the top, which is actually the bottom because I felt like I picked up too much color and it was too stark white. So you can definitely add, go in and add some. I just used the watered down like um, paint and ink that came right off of the, the panel itself. And there you go. Do a little bit more just to pick up a little areas where I didn't quite get and that's it. Now I'm going to let that dry. It's very very wet right now because I wet the whole surface. But once that dry, I will we can construct the card. Okay, so while it's drying, we're gonna make a sentiment. So I've got a piece of black cardstock and I just pulled off a sentiment from um, the floor cat play. It says, Life is boring when you are not around. A really sweet sentiment. I'm gonna stamp it on uh, in embossing ink and white emboss it, but first I will uh, put a little anti-static powder down. And now that I've stamped it, I'm gonna pour on my white embossing powder. I think white embossing powder and black cardstock is still one of my favorite combinations, probably one of my favorite things to still do with sentiments. I just love it. Okay, so I've got it all heat embossed. I've trimmed it down now, the strip, and I've also cut a vellum, there you see, a vellum sheet, little rectangle to go behind it. It's a little bit bigger than the rectangle uh, for the sentiment, just so it creates a little um, border around the sentiment. So I ran some tape on the back of my watercolor panel which is now dry and now I'm sticking it down onto a 5x7 card. This is, to make a 5x7 card all you have to do is cut a 10x7 um, rectangle and then score it down the middle at 
five and then you fold it in half and you'll have a five by seven card. And now I am adhering the sentiment onto the vellum and then I will adhere the vellum onto my panel or onto my card. I'm going to use a little um, foam tape to give a little bit of dimension and then I'll stick that down. And that's my card. So I hope you guys like this technique today. If you have any questions about the products I use, please visit waffleflower.com and you can follow us on YouTube and Instagram for more creative ideas. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.